Hi everybody, Fox Nomad here, and today I want to help you travel smarter by reviewing the Logitech MX Anywhere 2S mouse road tested after two years of continuous use and travel. Now, for those of you who don't know, my road tested is a series where I take a piece of travel gear or tech and I use it and test it over a long period of time, like luggage over a decade, camera over years, and a mouse over months and months and months and months of use. The first time I reviewed the 2S was back in February 2019, comparing it to the Anywhere 2, which by the way is strangely still the same price and occasionally more expensive than the newer 2S. Anyway, I followed up with a one year road tested last May. I'll leave a link to those first two reviews down under the subscribe button, but here's how this MX Anywhere 2S mouse is holding up after another 12 months of use. Now, in a road tested review, I don't just look at the physical durability, but how well this mouse and its set of features lives up to its current competition. On both fronts, the Anywhere 2S mouse makes a strong case for itself. But to set the stage, let's talk about how I've been using this mouse over the last 12 months to see how it might compare to your particular use case. This 2S is my daily driver, the mouse I pretty much use every day when editing videos, podcasts, or otherwise using a computer, which tends to be at least 40 hours a week. Of course, the mouse isn't in my hand the entire time, but it's getting a few hours a day in there unless I'm writing up a script, for example. But even then, I might need to highlight and delete a few things. This particular Anywhere 2S is usually scrolling over a glamorous PC gaming mouse pad, and when I need to move locations, I put it in this simple case before throwing it in my backpack. That case doesn't come with the 2S, but if you're curious, I'll leave a link to this particular one down in the description. I'm guessing my use case is probably going to be similar to a lot of your use cases, but if you just use this mouse for traveling or when you work in a cafe occasionally, then you're going to have a lot less wear and tear on this mouse and the effects of aging are going to be less significant. So getting into the review of this MX Anywhere 2S mouse, it's going to start off a lot like my review did last year, at least in the beginning. Looking at the bottom where the mouse gets the most wear and contact with the table or mouse pad, the four plastic pads in the corners here have some small scratches, something you would expect, but aside from some grime in there, the pads are solidly stuck on, no lifting or warping, and moving the mouse around is still, if not a little bit smoother, for the wear. The top buttons show almost no signs of wearing, except I did notice the left button, which I use a lot more than the right button, doesn't sit quite as high up as the right button anymore. It still feels as clicky though, which is impressive since basically that's the main thing you do with the mouse, point and click. If I really want to nitpick, this matte finish here right in front of the scroll wheel where my index finger tends to rest is wearing ever so slightly, just a little bit smoother and shinier than it originally was from the matte finish. Onto the scroll wheel, its two modes are also in good shape. There's the infinite scroll and this clicky option, they're both smooth as ever. Unfortunately, for those of you who work with a lot of 3D software, the wheel button still can't be mapped to any functions, so you can't press down as a click. You've got these right and left pushes that can be mapped, or this button right up here, but I know for a lot of you doing 3D stuff, not having a mappable wheel is a deal breaker. So far, so good, right? Well, let's get to the not so good part, and just as a caveat, I clean all my electronics, my laptop keyboard, my screens, and my mouse once a week with eye clear and a microfiber cloth, so I just use those. If it's good enough for Apple stores, it's good enough for my electronics, I think. So I cleaned this mouse every week and that's kept it in fairly good shape. But having said that, two things to me are noticeable now. First, right after my one year road tested, I noticed this piece of plastic on the left side here had cracked and fallen out. A bit further, right where my thumb usually rests, the plastic is lifting up ever so slightly. It's not dramatic and I can't notice it when I'm using the mouse, but it's a sign of aging. Also getting the dirt out of the thumb rest is harder and you can see the matte plastic here is also starting to wear a bit. The battery is also starting to show signs of aging. Fresh out of the box, you get around 70 days of battery life and three warning lights on the top here. Green for good, yellow for medium, and red for you better charge me soon. Way back since a year ago, that yellow light's gone away and now it's just straight to red. That's not such a big deal since you can get a full day's worth of battery with a three minute charge or even use the mouth when it's plugged in, albeit a little awkwardly. And instead of getting 70 days of battery life, I'm getting more like six to seven weeks of battery life, which isn't bad, but it's just signs that the battery health is diminishing. Like all batteries health diminishes over time, the maximum capacity and how long it can hold charge 
slowly disintegrates as things get older. Now, I used to turn the mouse off when I wasn't going to use it for a long period of time, like at the end of the day, to try to extend that battery life out. But I've gotten lazy about doing that over the last year or so. But the standby mode seems to work well enough. And after two years of use, it still holds up pretty well. On a more positive note, though, the connectivity issues I used to have with this mouse seem to have been resolved over the last year. Before, when I would put my MacBook to sleep and then wake it up, like one out of every five times the mouse wouldn't connect to my laptop and I'd have to repair it to get it to work. And it doesn't seem to do that anymore. Now, I don't know if that's due to a firmware update on the mouse or something in macOS that's been updated, but either way, it's really improved my workflow and it's just one less hassle to worry about. Overall, some of your concerns two years ago about not having a replaceable battery and the durability of the mouse, I think now after two years, we can put both of those things to rest. The MX Anywhere 2S is still a little bit small, so it's not the most ergonomic mouse, especially if you've got larger hands. If you do, you probably want to look at the MX Master Series, which are a little bit bigger of a mouse. But if you want something that's portable, then the MX Anywhere 2S is a great size. It's really pocketable, and if you have a case, you can just throw it into your backpack and it's not going to take up a ton of space. So we've got a very physically durable mouse with a great battery life still after two years. I think the cost of this mouse, which is about $60 new, adds up over time. If you divide that out over two years, it's like eight cents a day. If you do that same calculus with your laptop or your iPhone, for example, it's going to be a lot more expensive on a daily use. And considering how much you use a mouse on a daily basis, how much of an important part of your workflow it might be, especially if you need that high resolution mouse, if you're doing photo editing or video editing and you need to, you know, get the pointer right where you need it or you're gaming, this mouse is going to do great. And I think it really holds up as a good investment if you're looking for a mouse over time. So even if you end up replacing this mouse after two years, like if the battery life isn't as good as you wanted it to be, or maybe it has more wear and tear than my mouse particularly happens to have, I still think it's a good investment. The 2S really holds up over time. Two years is a reasonable amount of time for a piece of tech that you use that frequently and six to seven hours of battery life and the wear and tear, which looks very normal to me. I think you're going to be, I think it's a good buy. I think we can say after two years, it's a pretty durable product. It passes the road test, but I'm not going to stop testing this mouse. I'm going to still keep using it and see how it goes and try to update you in a few months or years or however long it holds up. So that's my two year road tested review of the Logitech MX Anywhere 2S mouse. I hope this video has been helpful, but if you have any questions, feel free to let me know down in the comments below. And while you're down there, hit the like and subscribe buttons. I'll have new videos for you every week. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Battery life, the standby seemed to work at this 